And today, we are going to tackle the Resident Evil live action movie series. Now, this is just the live action. This is not the uh, CG movies or the animated movies. Um, there's just the six Milo Jovovich ones and then the newest one. So those are the ones I'm going to be talking about today. I have most of them here on Blu-ray. And, um, yeah, I just want to give my opinions on them. So let's start with the very first one, Resident Evil, Milo Jovovich and Michelle Rodriguez. Now, this movie is watchable. I remember going to the theater. I saw most of these in the theater, but... Um, I remember seeing this and being disappointed because I was a huge Resident Evil fan. I still am, actually. But I was like, man, why didn't they do more with the mansion? Why didn't they do this? Why didn't they do that? And I was really disappointed. I know a lot of people were, which I'll get to when we get to the next movie. But Marilyn Manson did the music for this, which was really awesome. I do like the laser beam hallway. That is probably one of my favorite scenes in this. But the Mila Jovovich character is Alice, like... I don't, I just didn't really care for her. Um, I felt like they should have used the characters from the game. But a lot of people had that criticism. Which brings me to the next movie. Resident Evil Apocalypse. The second movie in the franchise. Now, I think they were listening to people bitching and complaining. So they went ahead and added a lot of, you know... A lot of things from the games. Nemesis is in this. It's just a guy in a bodysuit. He looked okay. Um, but Jill Valentine's in this. And um, the first thing she does, she walks into a police station. She's like, you got to shoot him in the head. And these police are like holding back these zombies, not knowing what to do with them. And she comes in and starts shooting them in the head. She's like, you got to shoot him in the head. I will say one thing. This movie, the acting sucks. Okay, that's what that's one thing I will give this movie is that the acting was pretty damn good and the jokes were on point. This movie has awesome acting compared to this movie. The cheesiness and just, oh my God, over the top just really kind of killed it for me. Um, the tones are so different with these films. They're so, especially when we get to the third movie. But I don't know. I think this movie was just too cheesy for me. I to be honest, I'd rather watch the first or the third one, which brings me to Resident Evil Extinction, which is the third movie. I really like this movie. Um, I know a lot of people they shit on this movie, and uh, it kind of reminds me of like Mad Max meets Resident Evil. Um, you got Carlos in this. You got Ali Lutter who plays um, uh, Claire Redfield. Uh, Lyndon Ashby also makes an appearance. You know he was in. Mortal Kombat, directed by Paul Anderson, but this was not directed by Paul Anderson. Even though Paul Anderson did write this movie, um, a different director. But, I don't know, the tone in this, going from this movie back to this movie, the tone is similar to the first one, which I like. So... Yeah, I don't know. The series just, it's going all over the place. But I like this movie. I don't know. A lot of people um, complain about it, but I, I like it. Then we get to, you know, the shit fest. Um, here we have Resident Evil Afterlife, which is the fourth movie. And has to do with a lot of clones and bullshit like that. Um, it says right here, amazing. The franchise just keeps getting bit. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> Um, yeah, Allie Larder is Claire Redfield once again, and they have, like, enemies from, like, Las Plagas, like, Resident Evil, there's, like, the, the big old axe guy from Resident Evil 5, and then those guys who, you know, um, kind of like a Las Plagas, uh, thing in there, and then, like, Wesker, yeah, I don't know, this movie's cheesy, just like the second movie. Again, the tone is completely different. Um, I just didn't really care for it. Then we get Resident Evil Retribution. Now, this movie is better, in my opinion, than Resident Evil Afterlife. That's not saying much. I like the whole... The, the first 15 minutes of this movie is great. I, I really like the first 15 minutes. Um, and then it just gets like just weird. Like... You have that one guy who plays Barry Burton. Finally, Barry Burton shows up. But what they do with him is just is stupid. You got 
Ada Wong. You got Michelle Rodriguez who returns from the first movie. Leon Kennedy. Look at Leon. There's Leon. This movie was like, okay, let's just bring back, let's just bring all the video game characters. <laughs> let's just bunch them all together. The problem with that is you're introducing some of these characters that should have been introduced in the, the previous films. But they just went ahead and just did it here. So that was a big problem. Um, the action was, was, was pretty good, I'd say. But like I said, the first 10, 15 minutes is, is pretty awesome. Um, but, yeah. So that is the fifth film. Then we get to the sixth film called Resident Evil The Final Chapter. So this is it. This is the final movie for the Mila Jovovich films. There is a huge twist at the end, which I didn't see coming, but when I think about it, I'm just like, really? Like, that's what they're going to do? <laughs> the twist is not even that big of a deal. I mean, it's not even, I don't know, it just doesn't logically make any sense. I just couldn't believe that that's what the twist was, that that's what they were going to do. But there's Ruby Rose right there. She's in this movie, and then Ali Larder, of course. Um... I had this on DVD because I didn't really care for this movie at all. And it was really cheap. So I think I got this at Goodwill for like a buck. So um, these movies actually came in a box at which I'll talk about um, coming up soon. But yeah, this is supposed to be the final chapter. And it is because they haven't made any more of these since. Then we get to this. This is the newest Resident Evil live action movie called Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. Now this movie definitely took liberties from the game. They combined like Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2. The problem with this film is the miscasting. The, the casting was all wrong. I mean you got Chris Redfield, you got Jill, you got Leon Clare and Albert Wesker. None of them, I mean, besides Claire, she looks okay. None of these other, they, they do not fit the parts at all. Especially him as Wesker. He does not look like Wesker. Um, but at least she's got the red jacket. They definitely took liberties. Um, there are some scenes, I won't, I'm not going to sit here and say that this movie's terrible. Um, I think the acting is kind of hit or miss, but... I do like a lot of the stuff when they're in the mansion. I do like that. Um, some really cool parts in it. Some some kind of creepy parts, too. Um, I just think the biggest problem is the casting choices. I just think it was really... Like, I don't even understand what they were trying to do. With the, look at that. Like, look at the casting on this. It just it looks terrible. The effects look pretty good. I mean, <laughs> the 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 camera views and and uh, cinematography was actually pretty good when they're in the mansion and stuff. But uh, like in my mind, I here's the thing: this is rated R. In my mind, I can come up with a scarier version of Resident Evil, like what fans would want to see. And taking liberties from the game is fine, but you need to make it your own film. You need to, if you're going to pay homage to things, do it. But don't, you don't have to completely copy. That was the problem with this movie, is that I felt like they didn't hardly have anything from the game. There was just tidbits here and there, but they could have, they basically made this their own film, which I can appreciate. And a lot of people after seeing this movie will say that this one's gold compared to this. But I don't know if I'd go that far. I still think this movie has some good qualities. But it's definitely not the Resident Evil movie that I wanted. But that's what we got. So, Anyway, guys. Those are the Resident Evil films. The uh, Mila Jovovich ones. And then, of course, the newest one that we got. So, let me know what you think of the Resident Evil series. I know there's a huge fan base for these movies, and that's fine. 
I'm not the biggest fan, like I said, but I do like this one. I do like the third one um, as well. So let me know what you think in the comments. I'll be back with more of these horror collection videos as well as regular movie collections because I have those to show off as well. I have some thriller genres. I have some comedies and some actions, uh, action, uh, action movies. So stay tuned, guys. Hope you're enjoying these videos, and I'll see you in the next one.